Hi, I'm Lisa Leiter in Chicago Business Today, ending snail mail on Saturdays. The Postal Regulatory Commission this week held a hearing at City Hall on the Postal Service's plan to cut residential mail delivery from six days to five. It's part of a series of hearings being held across the country to get feedback from businesses and residents about the plan. It calls for letter carriers to stop delivery to homes or collections from blue boxes on Saturdays. Post offices would stay open and express and remittance mail, those with payments, would continue every day. It's all part of an effort to try to close a $238 billion budget shortfall facing the Postal Service over the next decade. Well, we can cover about half that, becoming more efficient, uh, but the other half really requires changes in the law and uh, five day is just a small piece of that. Cutting Saturday delivery would save three billion dollars a year. Also part of the Postal Service's long-term plan, restructuring retiree health benefits, cutting hours of post offices, and adding to the type of products available at post offices. There are also plans for a modest price increase above the inflation rate for postage for 2011. Northbrook-based retailer Crate & Barrel was one of the companies speaking out against the plan to go to five-day mail delivery. We believe this will negatively affect certain customers' ability to conveniently place orders, learn of our product offerings, hear about our promotional events, receive orders, and return product. What would be worse, Seebeck says, would be postal rate increases above the inflation rate, which he says would mean fewer catalogs mailed. CVS Caremark also opposes the plan. It's the nation's largest drug provider and shipped 50 million prescriptions through mail orders last year alone, mostly through the Postal Service. Ken Zarnecki says the company would have to turn to private delivery companies on Saturdays, which could cost $50 million more a year. These added costs not only impact patients' pocketbooks, but will also strain the health care system. After the hearings are completed, the Postal Commission will report to Congress this fall. Congress must then decide whether to approve a change in the law, which now requires mail service six days a week. A vote is not expected before November, and then if approved, Saturday delivery would not end for about six months after that. Well, that's this edition of Chicago Business Today. Be sure to check out chicagobusiness.com for all of your breaking news. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.